Welcome to Drink and Dish with Nicole and Ari. I'm Nicole and I blog at The Marvelous Misadventures of a Foodie. I'm Ari and I blog at Ari's Menu. Today we have a tailgating inspired episode for you. I'm going to be making some jalapeno popper hot dogs. And I'm making a game day beer punch. Okay, so to start off, I've wrapped our hot dogs in bacon. Now I know this sounds super indulgent, but I'm using these Hebrew National 45 calorie beef hot dogs. They're reduced fat, they're really great, I like them. And I just wrapped each one with a piece of center cut bacon and I grilled them for about five minutes. They go really quickly. Now to make our topping in the food processor, I have about a quarter cup each of light whipped cream cheese, non-fat plain Greek yogurt, and half a roasted jalapeno and a clove of roasted garlic. I'm just going to blend this all together until it's nice and smooth. Then I'm going to top our hot dogs with this mixture and a little cheddar cheese while Nicole works on our drinks. Thanks Ari. So this punch is made to be served to, for a crowd. So you're going to want to start with a big pitcher or drink dispenser of some sort. This one's glass and probably if you're tailgating probably want to use something that's plastic. So we're starting with a couple cups of orange juice. Then our next is lemonade. So Nicole, did you ever go tailgating in college? I did a few times, yeah. Um, I, not a huge football person, so I didn't do a ton of tailgating, but it was fun. It was really big at my college, but I was always doing theater and in rehearsals, so I never went, but the football scene was super big at my college and it, we had this big rivalry with Boise State. Oh. That's kind of like intense. Arizona State with U of A. Yeah. Okay, so next we're putting in some cranberry raspberry juice. It gives it our nice punch color. And then we've got a little bit of rum. This is just a plain rum. Give that a little stir. And then next we're going to add in some beer. This is just a red beer. I thought that this paired really well with the punch. But if you have like a, a nutty brown, that would work. Basically, just do, do me a favor. Don't use your Bud Light or your Coors Light, whatever. Oh, bad decision, just, people. That's just my personal opinion. So I'm just going to pour all this beer in. So Ari, where is your college shirt? So <laughs> I did have one, and then I went to look for it to wear it today, and I couldn't find it. And all I found was these big UI sweatpants. And <laughs> I didn't think sweatpants were really appropriate for filming a video. I mean, what? I wear them to like out in public, but I didn't think you guys really needed to see that. That's hilarious. I mean, everyone loves some University of Idaho sweatpants, but I wish I had some. I, right? Yeah. That's not everyone. So once your beer is in, give it a good stir. And then we're going to just Fill, put a bunch of ice in this sucker. Make sure it's cold. Oh yeah, it gotta be cold. This is a messy business here. Splashing everywhere. Don't get rid of that beer, girl. I'm just you losing just ice. Threw an ice cube at me. All right, there we go. And my drink dispenser has a little spout on it, so I'm just gonna fill up our cups. Oh, that looks awesome. I can smell it. I can smell the beer and the punchy flavor already. Oh, this is going to take its sweet time. Do oh, I get to drink out of the marathon cup? You do get to drink out of the marathon cup. So I have this really weird thing with my marathon cup, and I get really upset if people drink out of it. Because I, I do like too. I hide mine in the back. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, goodness. There you go. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Oh my gosh, that is so good. I don't usually even like fruity drinks, but like, it just. It has, but the beer really just kind of cuts the sweetness of the fruit, but it still tastes punchy. Sorry, I was just drinking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let's try this hot dog. dog. That cream cheese. It's so good. The jalapeno, because it's roasted. Mm-hmm, it brings out the flavor. Yeah. Just like a jalapeno popper and a hot dog. Mm-hmm. Well, thanks for joining us on another episode of Drink and Dish. Be sure to tune in next time for a fall episode.